this is Cherry Enchantress. It's my birthday, so I and I'm turned. I just turned 50. Hard to believe, but I think I felt like I needed something gold to represent my birthday. So look at this beautiful tarot. Now this is only my third tarot deck I've ever gotten. I got the Rider Waite deck when I was probably in my 20s and it's lasted and it's still holding strong and I passed it on to my daughter and then just recently when I started my YouTube channel I got the Shadowscapes deck which is the one I always use and I love it it's really beautiful I actually did get um, another Rider weight uh, fancy version because I just needed it for references purposes and I, I use it sometimes, but I do, I like, you know, beautiful art and the Rider Waite was kind of, you know, a little bit more, definitely traditional, but sort of strange art, like a little bit flat, but that's okay. I still need, it's still, the symbolism on the Rider Waite is still important and good to, to know and refer to. But look at this beautiful, this is Botticelli, and it is by Le Scarborough. He does a lot of these golden and silver type uh, decks. So that, Le Scarborough, that's his name right there. So I recommend, you know, YouTubing and Googling his work because I like I like some of the decks that he makes and I was having trouble deciding which gold one that I would buy first but I think I'm going to collect artists so that's my goal right now and um, so it comes with a, an easy small booklet in many languages we have it comes in English, Italian, Spanish, French, Dutch, and Portuguese. And every card will have that. So it has every explanation in those languages. So that's also nice. If anybody would like me to do a Spanish reading for them, just let me know. Maybe I could set something up. All right, so let's just do this one at a time. You can see that, I don't know if you can see that it's gilded, and it's just really, really pretty and sparkly. So much prettier in person, but, but yeah. There's the fool, the el loco. It's funny in Spanish, it's the crazy guy, <laughs> the fool. And definitely the fool has a different meaning in the Shadowscape deck. It's more of, um, you know, trusting your gut. You know because you know the best kind of thing but sometimes when you feel like a fool you don't always feel like you're doing something wise and here is the magician let me see if I can I'll half these so I can it won't be so heavy the magician The High Priestess. The Empress. The Emperor. The hero fence and Papa. The lovers. The Liebenden. Darling. Now, die Liebenden. <laughs> the chariot. Also, I got these because um, 
for the holidays. Since it's kind of a religious time of year, it looked a little more like, you know, like going to church and the stained glass windows and the golden statues and all of that. It just gives it a little air of festivity during the holidays. The Hermit. The Wheel. Strength. The Hanged Man. Death. So slightly different from the sickle. Also very different from the phoenix rising out of the ashes. This gives you sort of a feeling of mourning. but And that definitely does happen when you have a change in your life. Sometimes you mourn the passing of one thing. Even if it's, a, you know, meant to be and it's something that you needed. This is temperance. <laughs> like the devil. This doesn't show like a couple, it just shows us a little devil. This kind of makes me think of, you know, when you listen to that, that one voice in your head, not the angel voice, but the devil voice, and you make that decision according to that voice. Tower. They kind of look like they're flying into their tower instead of flying out of the tower. The stars. The moon. I like how it's like a mix of blue and gold. Kind of pink. It's sort of air. This one's sort of iridescent and gold. It's re actually it's gold on top of a. The upper part is blue and it's great. It's a grad gradiated down into sort of this rose color. So pretty. This one is the sun. It's very bright. It's just like white particles when it's not reflected, but it's mostly gold. That makes me think of family, my brother. Judgment. It's almost similar to the Rider weight, The world. I like that they use this. Venus. This one's another one where it's kind of like blue, going to a light blue. Ace of Cups, Chalices. Two of Cups, Chalices, Three of Chalices, it's a pretty drawing, Four of Chalices, Five of Cups, Chalices, Copas, Six. I don't know why they have a baby there. That's cute. This one's really pretty. The seven. Seven of cups. Let's see if we can get it to.
seven, eight. Eleven, knave, <laughs> the knave of cups, which is the page, the knight of cups, queen of cups, king of cups, ace of pentacles. Now we move on to the pentacles. Here's another really beautiful color. Blending. I think this might might be my favorite. The Ace of Pentacles. I love the colors. The con contrast too between the pinks and the greens. Here is the Two of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Little golden gold pieces in the trees. Pentacles is fun in this shiny deck. Coins or pentacles, but I like the coins. Like, I'd rather say coins for this. Eight coins. Nine coins. So many coins. Ten coins going to a nice house. The knave. Page of pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, oh, I like that too. Ace of Wands, now we're at the Wands. <clears throat> Two of Wands, Three of Wands, Four of Wands, the Twin Flame number. Five of Wands. Six of Wands. Another nice color combination. Seven of Wands. Eight of Wands. Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands, I like this one too. A Knave of Wands, Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, King of Wands, Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, Three of Swords, that's an interesting image. <laughs> Four of Swords, I like that. Five of Swords. Six 
six of swords. It looks a little like gardening, and there's a ship in the distance. It seems a little more positive than some six of swords. Seven of swords. Interesting. Eight of swords. Nine of swords. Ten of swords. Looks like servitude. Knave of swords. Knight of Swords. That one looks like a lot of action. Those flowers. Queen of Swords. She looks unhappy. I think I read that Queen of Swords is not very nice. <laughs> the descriptions of them are kind of interesting too. The King of Swords. And then there's this little card. That's the backing, which is not shiny. But, you know, you can always go over it if you want to later. And the edges are not shiny either, which I might, might edge, maybe. So if you want to visit his website, he has a Book of Shadows tarot and other sure other tarot cards that you might be interested in that he does that and he does a lot of the gilded stuff i'm just gonna you can skip over this part but i was just gonna read one of the definitions okay so yeah i, I knew it was the queen for some reason she was looking kind of grumpy <laughs> queen of swords is a lone and difficult woman who creates trouble hypocritical woman with evil intentions so yeah, that doesn't sound too good. But I am the Queen of Cups, and mine sounds nicer. Loved woman or sincere friend, honest collaborator, and, or it could be a slanderous relative or neighbor, which is not me. <laughs> anyway, so it's, you might like this because it's a little bit different interpretation too, and you might enjoy reading the, um, the different interpretations of Los Scarborough's decks. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I will be inter uh, incorporating these into the readings in the future, especially during the holidays. And then, you know, alternate with my shadowscapes. So I hope you enjoy. Faith, trust, and pixie dust.